Hey there everybody, it's Fred Thomas and you are watching Rideable TV, home of 80 bikes, frame and wheel and all things bike. And today I'm doing a bike story for the Bike Karma podcast hosted by Tom Brown. And my story, let's see, takes place about what, five or six years ago in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And um, let's see, yeah, Chiang Mai is, is in northern central Thailand. It's, it's really, it's the Tucson, Arizona of Thailand. It's, uh, it's a college town. It's up in the mountains. Um, there's loads of cyclists from all over. And, um, and you know, like Tucson, it's got its own Mount Lemon. It's got uh, this mountain called Doi Intanon, which is about 8,500 feet up there. Um, 25 mile climb. Um, the only difference is that it's got some sections that are really steep in it. I think in Thailand, um, you know, they don't do a lot of switchbacks. And when the road can go straight up, they just make it go straight up. So there, I think the sec there's some gradients there that are 25% or more. Um, and so that makes it, you know, the big challenge ride. And there I was um, doing this ride. It goes, um, it's in a national park, so it's pristine. Uh, jungle and um, it's really remarkable you, you start off at the lower levels and, and there are birds you know, wah, 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 and bugs whoosh, non-stop and as you get higher up the fauna begins to change the flora changes um, it gets cooler and um, about halfway up there's a section where it's just one kilometer straight up 20 percent 25 percent I don't know it's it's the first real shocker and um, and then the last three miles are, are when you find yourself because it, it's really steep and if anyone's ever done it they'll know about the pagoda which is halfway up and and you're you're in your lowest gear and you're not sure you're gonna make it but you always do because it's an incredible um, you know scenery and, and, and experience and so I get up there and I'm looking out over the jungle stretching into the into the golden triangle and um, out across Thailand um, clouds are below you and it's time to come off the, off the, uh, the mountain so it's so steep at the top that you you just you can't let the bike get going so um, I've got a full handful of brakes and I'm just keeping the bike at 10 miles an hour or less as they go down this really steep section and you know, it's it's why they don't let you ride a, ride your bike off of Mount Washington. It's it's so steep that if you let the bike get away, um, you're not going to make any of the corners, and and that'll be the end of it. Um, in Thailand, they're not too worried about that. Um, it's just a higher tolerance for risk, and um, so I get through the first section. That's great, and it eases up, and I'm coasting down, and uh, I get to that halfway mark that I was talking about, and the bike goes from 20 to 30 to 40 just like that and uh, my grab brakes and pow my rear tire goes out and you know pop, 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 and the clincher is, is flapping around and there's that awful sort of squishy feeling of, of a steel rim on pavement and, uh, and in my mind I'm just wondering where and when I'm gonna hit the pavement and the bike's still going really fast and um, I just don't slide and I begin to get on the front brake and slowly gradually somehow manage to stop the bike and there I am in the in, in a sort of a jungle jungle road no one around nothing but the, the bugs and the birds sort of mocking me or, or chirping away indifferently and I'm shook up and I pull the bike to the side of the road leaning up on the guardrail collect myself and start you know, repairing the wheel and I take the wheel off with the two take the tube out and lean it up on the on the guardrail and I'm sort of fiddling around and I look up and there's a Thai guy standing right there in front of me on the side of the road young man um, in his blue sort of loose fitting work clothes and he's smiling very pleasant uh, with his little satchel and and he's he's pointing at, you know, at the, at the tire on the, on the guardrail or the tube. 
And I say, yeah, somebody cop, yeah. I had a, you know, a flat pow, you know. And uh, he's like, yeah, smiling, nodding, <laughs> pointing at the tube. And I said, yeah, I'm okay, don't worry. I got another tube here, I'll be fine. And then he's smiling, yeah, yeah. And keeps pointing at the tube, and then he starts pointing at himself. And finally it dawns on me that he would like to have the, the, the old tube. So I said, well, yeah, no problem, you take it. No, I got another one. And so he grabs it, and, and he turns around and disappears into the jungle through, um, through a little path that, you know, there's no way you would have known it was there, but he disappears. And, uh, and so I'm a little surprised by that. And a moment later, um, you know, my wife and daughter and in-laws, they turn up in a van and, and they say, what are you doing there? And I, I say, ah, just a mechanical, no problem. Hey, yeah, let's go. And I throw the bike in the van and, and uh, we, we drive home. Um, so it's not that interesting of a story, I don't think, but, but um, there is, a, there is a, a moral. I spend a lot of time thinking, you know, what did I do wrong um, uh, to, to get myself into that um, situation? And um, that's uh, what I think the, is the value of the story. And there are a few things. First, if you're gonna go ride up a big mountain in a foreign country, um, make sure you got someone going with you. Um, next thing is that brake pads are not all created equal. Um, I was using some stock brake pads and uh, they don't, I, I don't think they are very good at, at dissipating the heat uh, in, the, in the rims. And um, a third, uh, you know, if you know you're going to be climbing to, uh, you know, 8,500 feet, um, you don't need to put more air in your tires um, because, you know, as you get to the top, you get the same effect as what's going on in an airline you know, cabin. You know, you got the pressure differential, the air in your tube really wants to get out of the tube. And, and, um, and uh, you know, at 8,500 feet, that, that pressure is increased. And, um, and then finally, um, avoid uh, you know grabbing your brakes sharply and abruptly because um, that uh, results in, in temperature spikes. Um, you know the, the rims that that uh, you know on my bike they were probably warm. The air pressure um, differential was high. The air in the tube was warm, and then I grabbed that brake and I just made things really much hotter m very quickly. And that was just too much for the for the tube, and and it and it blew out. Um, so I try to keep all those things in mind. I mean, of course, this may not be relevant um, so much if you're riding disc brakes, but um, uh, good stuff to know. So that's my story. Um, if you got one, you can uh, reach out to Tom at um, the Bike Karma podcast, Bike Karma Guy at Gmail. I think it's his contact info. And, uh, and tell him your story and he'll get it out there. Ride safe, be well, we'll talk to you soon.